Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn about volumes of revolution around vertical lines with disks and washers. Let's look at the general strategy for these problems. For disks, we need to determine the radius and then set up the integral and solve. For washers, we need to determine the outer radius and the inner radius, then set up the integral and solve. And note that when we find solids of revolution around a vertical line using disks or washers, the entire integral needs to be in terms of y. Let's do several examples. Problem 1. Find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region above y equals 0.5 e to the x around the line x equals negative 1 on the interval negative 1, 2. The first thing to note here is that there's no space between the region and the axis of revolution. That means we'll use the disk method. Now we need to determine the radius. The distance from the axis of revolution to the y-axis is 1, and the distance from the y-axis to the curve we'll call f of y. That means the radius of each disk is 1 plus f of y. So now let's take the function y equals 0.5e to the x and solve it for x. This gives us x equals ln 2y, and that is f of y. The radius is 1 plus f of y. That means dv, the volume of one disk, is pi times the quantity of 1 plus f of y squared dy. Remember that dy is the thickness of each disk. And now we can write the final integral that represents the volume of the solid. v equals pi times the integral from 0.184 to 3.695 of the quantity of 1 plus ln 2y squared dy. And that equals 18.109 pi. Note that the limits of integration are y values because we're adding up the volumes of an infinite number of disks from 0.184 to 3.695. Example two, find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region between y equals 3x squared and x equals two around the line x equals four. In this case, note that there's space between the region and the axis of revolution. That means we'll use the washer method. So what we need to do is find the outer radius and the inner radius. Since the distance from the y-axis to the axis of revolution is four, and the distance from the y-axis to the curve is f of y, the outer radius is four minus f of y. And that means the inner radius is four minus two. Now we need to take the function y equals 3x squared and solve it for x, and that gives us the square root of y over 3. This is f of y. Now we can write dv, the volume of one washer, which is pi times the quantity of 4 minus f of y squared minus pi times 2 squared dy. And that means the volume of the solid is the integral from 0 to 12 of the quantity of 4 minus f of y squared minus two squared dy, which equals 40 pi. Note that the limits of integration are y values since we're adding up the volumes of an infinite number of washers from zero to 12. Example three, find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region between y equals three x squared and x equals two around the line x equals negative two. This is the same region as the previous example but we're now rotating it around a different axis. And note that there's space between the axis of revolution and the region. That means we'll use the washer method. So the outer radius is always going to be four units from the axis of revolution, but the inner radius depends on f of y. And that radius is two plus f of y, since the distance from the axis of revolution to the y-axis is two, and the distance from the y-axis to the curve is f of y. Just like in the previous example, x equals the square root of y over three. This is f of y. And we know that the outer radius is four and the inner radius is two plus f of y. Now we can write dv, the volume of one washer, which is pi times four squared minus pi times the quantity of two plus f of y squared dy. And now we can write the integral that represents the volume of the solid, which is pi times the integral from zero to 12 of four squared minus the quantity of two plus f of y squared dy. And we can solve this with a calculator to get 56 pi. All right, last example. Find the volume of the solid formed by rotating the shaded region between y equals three x squared and x equals two around the line x equals two. 
Again, this is the same region as before, but we're rotating around a different axis. And since there's no space between the region and the axis of rotation this time, that means we'll use the disk method. Here we can see that the radius is 2 minus f of y. And like before, f of y equals the square root of y over 3. Now we can write dv, the volume of one disk, which is pi times the quantity of 2 minus f of y squared dy. And then we can write the integral that represents the volume of the solid. v equals pi times the integral from 0 to 12 of the quantity of 2 minus f of y squared dy and that equals eight pi. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you now feel more comfortable with volumes of revolution around vertical lines. And that's how you rock calculus.